Hi guys, what's up? In this video, I will be seeing what a checksum is and we'll be getting introduced to few checksum functions that are available on your Linux terminal. So, checksum is something that we use to verify the correctness of the file. Checksum are basically like the fingerprint of a file and you will be getting the exact same checksum if and only you have this exact same file. Uh, this is basically used when you copy a data from one media to another or you transmit the data from one system to another system over the network and you will be taking the checksum of the original file and will be take, taking the checksum of the file at the receiver end and will be comparing it with both. So if they match that means you have the exact same file. Uh, basically all the websites where you get to download stuff will provide the checksum for the download files so that you after downloading you can take the checksum and you can compare with the checksum that are provided by the websites to ensure that you have the exact same data from the server and if it doesn't matter that means there was some error during the transmission of data and you will have to re-download it so for today I have a file called myfile.txt and I have some randomly filled stuff within it so there are different functions available for getting the checksum and one is the md5 md 5 sam just type in the md 5 sam and your file name my file .txt. pressing enter you will be getting the checksum you see these are hexadecimal characters and each hexadecimal character needs 4 bits and two hexadecimal characters makes one byte, eight bits, and total of sixteen. This MD5 gives always gives the output of sixteen bytes. Okay. And now I'll be making a small change somewhere here. Not a small. I'll be changing this X to an uppercase X, and saving it. And now I'll be taking the checksum again. You can see it is entirely different from the above checksum right that means these files doesn't match and if I change it to small error x again and save it and taking the checksum again you can see I have got the exact same checksum this time that means I have the exact same file so md5 is one of the algorithm one and the another one is SHA1 that is secured hash algorithm and secured hash algorithm has different versions available SHA1, SHA256, SHA512, SHA224 and SHA384 ok and also MD5 has MD4 is the message digest 4 algorithm which is nowadays not used MD5 is used more ok now we will be see how to take in the SHA1 sam type in the file name.txt pressing enter you will be getting the SHA1 basically these are two different algorithms and they will be generating two different uh, checksums and the number they vary in number of bytes they give as the output ok now we will be going for SHA256 the okay, another standard one this is the SHA256 sum ok you have got the checksum for your file or using this to it SHA 256 algorithm. Now the another one is SHA 512. Okay, 512 sum my file dot txt. Okay, you have the SHA 512 sum. And another one is SHA 384. Okay, SHA 384 sum for your file okay the, the websites may provide different checksums sometimes they may be using this uh, SHA1 checksum and they will be providing this and if you are downloading this file they will be uploading the file and they will be giving you the checksum after downloading it from the website you check, take the checksum in this manner using SHA1 or whatever algorithm you used and you can compare with the checksum okay and one more checksum that is available is S SHA 224 myfile.txt pressing under you got this so 
This is the way you can verify the correctness of the file that you have or correctness while you know, copying or transmission of file without comparing the actual files you can just compare the fingerprints and this will be unique and after all uh, no algorithms are ideally perfect there can be errors that's why the older algorithms got as I told you MD4 was there previously before the MD5 came and it's nowadays not used but these are the few standard algorithms that we use these days okay that can be used and verifying your files and verifying your data and these functions standard functions are basically provided by the Linux terminal not even you have to use or install anything for using it you can just type in this function name and your file name to get the respective checksums so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you